Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 48 of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, uh, I was doing inventory management, and uh, now we're here at the correct cave, which is the Two Skies Cave. That's right. And again, it's going to be booby-trapped all to hell. So, let's get this all done and over with. That's a dead end. Down here seems to be where the next one will be. You following me? No, of course you're not. Yep, you're still not. Okay, I was just double checking. Okay, yep. That's what I thought. Tripwire. Okay. And that's where the tripwires uh, would end up. Triggering. Okay. Uh, no more collecting those. I have plenty of them now. Uh, almost too much, exactly. Let's see if we can get down here without triggering anything, which would be a feat of itself. Uh, let's get down this way. Water. Well, didn't expect that. There's anything to go through. Whoops, be quick, be quick. There we go. Alright. That could have been bad, but it ended up working in our favor, so cool. Whoop. Come on, let me walk up the thing. Yeah, cool. Woo! And there we go. We're pretty much good door to it. However, there's probably a lot of booby traps here, and again, the frame rate drops as soon as you're looking for the Fuck. That was a plasma of mine. There's the other one. Now I can see it, and I was going to very much die. Jesus Hubert Christ. All right, <laughs> that scared the bejesus out of me. And let's pop a, where's the poultices? There they are, over here. Cool, that'll help heal up my limb that I just got broken. Is there anything else around here? Nope, doesn't look like it. An average lock, I can get through an average lock. Oh, maybe. I guess I can't, folks. It's time to leave. Okay. There we go. I just fucked up the first time. It's all good. I'm good. There's a uh, little campsite here. I assume that's his. Brock flower, scalpel. These would be good for med packs, so I'll keep these for now. Uh, campfire. Yeah, I have nothing basically to do with that. Ho! Oh. Oh, Ho! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'd have to disable that generator from this side. You are not able to smash the generator. Well, that worked <laughs> a bit. Um, where'd the other thing go? There was another thing, damn it. There it is. Okay. And, yeah, that would not have been a usable path for me. Good thing I went under, huh? Okay, I am very much crippled at this point. Uh, let's see. Do I have any doctor's bags on me? I don't think I do. No, I do not. Let's pop a healing poultice. Maybe that'll fix. For the time being. And we'll head over here. What's in here? Yay, Xander roots. I need those. I always need those. Forever and ever I will need those. Uh, take that. 
It's like, these I always need to. Survival cash. There we go. Cache, cash, whatever. Oh, doctor's bag. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. One thing I really want to see, though, is his computer. There it is. I'll take those. Explosive crate. Why would he have locked this? There is no reason to lock something that you you're the sole person to get access to. Uh, don't need to break anything down. Again, why would you break? Why would you do that? You have sole access to it. No one else could possibly get to it. Huh, <sighs> weird. Yep, not enough lead to make all five, but one is still good. Uh, right away, surgical tubing, bobby pins, forceps. Again, stuff you need for doctor's bags. Now let's read the computer. Year 2083. May 5th. The comeback goes on. Add prickly pear to list of survival survivors with honey mesquite and banana yucca. Odd modules slash mutations, but safe to eat. Harvesting oh so careful. Never take more than a fifth. Mouth waters every time I'm about to eat something that isn't from a can. <laughs> I can't blame you. May 7th. Clouds of those stinging flies near fallen tree I call the napper. Little flashes in the cloud. Something dragonfly size that zaps then midair them that zaps them midair, then scoops them up. Something new. Ooh. That's a uh, that's a thing. Stinging flies. I I assume he means bloat flies. Bighorn sheep, a family, ram, you and little one. Fucking goddammit. Oh, uh, that reminded him of his family. May 20th. The sheep were different. Brawny. You had curved horns just like the ram. Seen some tiny lizards, but this is the first time I've seen animals that big. Fingers crossed. Five, ten years breeding. Fresh meat, hinds, horns. I know it's time to go back, sure. When winter has passed. Huh, okay. 84. June 14th. Just got back. Tired. Good scrounging along the way. Ended up dragging back a cart of stuff. Right tomorrow. Sleep. June 15th. Departed April 10th. Walked to SLC. Took 15 days. Would have been 7 and 9 back in the old days, but had to circle pockets of radiation and forged along the way. Don't know what I was thinking. Imagine I'd find my house. Dig through rubble. Find something. Your bones, I hoped, and little nuts. Would have buried them. Here in Zion, maybe. I assume Little Nuts is his uh, nickname for his son. SLC is mostly craters. Warped steel girders where high rises sat. Mounds of bricks. Never found our house. Didn't even find street. What wasn't a crater was scorched clean. Want to believe it was fast, a flash. Both of you vaporized. Lies to make me feel better. I'll never know. Which part of the city got hit first? Northeast, and you both died in a blink. Farther away, and you burned alive screaming, or the blast broken glass and bits of brick and wood splinters shredding you like hamburgers. Look at it, coward, and listen. Don't turn away. Face it. If you'd been a brave, lucky man, you would have found a spot and blown your brains out. But not you. You took your time walking back, made a shopping trip of it, scrounger. The truck was still there on the 77 north of Spanish Fork. The Chrysalis, too, but no sign of the old couple's bones. Outside Nephi, I caught a trail. Three men, tracks heading towards Fountain Green. Thought about following, but didn't. Stupid fantasy of friends. More likely cannibals. June 20th. Took two days to build door and electrify it. No soliciting, assholes. Home sweet fucking home. <laughs> uh, I can't blame you for that. September 20th. I count 28 of them. 11 adult males, 8 females, 9 children aged 2 to 10. Some rifles and pistols in bad repair. 
Old World Clothes. Ready. September 22nd. Got close enough last night to hear them talk. Spanish, I think. From Mexico? Heard them say Paradiso a bunch. Thinks that mean think that means paradise. Here to stay then. Seem harmless. Seem. October 5th. The one I call Maria is pregnant. Think the father is Jose, but she spends a lot of time with Pablo too. He doesn't know their names because he hasn't talked to them. Doesn't want to deal with the possibility. October 7th. Pedro ran out to pee in the stream and would have seen me if he looked to his left. Too close. Need to give them space. November 10th. Jose broke his leg chasing a bighorn. Too far from camp for them to hear. Told myself to leave it be, but couldn't. 300 yards from their camp, I did my best Jose screaming imitation until a bunch of them came looking. Then strung them along to the crest where they could hear the real Jose. Probably useless. Compound pr fracture. Broke the skin. That's not good. November 11th. Infect she on. So many goddamn words nearly the same, think I'd be fluent. <laughs> but anyway, Jose's leg has got it, so it's gonna... He's gonna die. Nature for you. Of course, they're giving a prayer a try. November 12th. Left bottle of antibiotics on a rock outside their camp last night. They thanked God, Dios, of course. As though that asshole saw fit to burn the world but still cared enough to leave some medicine on a rock. November 15th. Jose will always limp, but otherwise he'll be okay. Good deed for the month. Will they make it through the winter? The next one in the sequence was Stonebones Cave, and we saw what happened with that. Vault 22 guys got to them, and that went south very quickly. Uh, if you want to figure that out for yourselves, uh, it should be further in in the playlist, otherwise I'll probably link it. And this is the door to get out through. There's probably a few traps still here, because I didn't go down this path, so need to deal with them as I see fit. Or maybe I already dealt with them. Holy shit. Okay. In that case, we'll go up here. And go through this one. Okay, the next one in the sequence is after Stonebones Cave. Is, I already have it marked. Come on. The uh, Cueva Garache. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyone who knows better, tell me in the comments. Or tell me on Tumblr or something. <laughs> Someplace I'll be able to see it. Ah, Verners. Okay. And this cave we go into. And we head to the end of it, just like the before. Alright, and again, it'll be trapped as all hell, and she's not following me, so... More frequent each day. I fear for our You're following me? And for our valley, something we must tackle. Holy shit. Did not expect that. Okay. A light would be more beneficial than anything right now, so that's why I have it on. Up. Uh, a spore plant? I didn't know there were spore plants down here. Shit. Okay. There we go. Alright. I think that's the only one here, though. What, is there more? Really? Oh, shit. Uh, come on. Let me aim at the head. Aim for the head! And there we go. I am glad it's over. Oh, I thought that was like another enemy behind, but no, it's just <laughs> the body of the spore plant glitching the fuck out. Okay, I calmed it down. Cool. I was planning on trying to pull it out or something, but calming it down works just as well. Oh, pff, come on. Let me through you. Okay, there's nothing back here. 
Not that I can see anyway. So I guess this was the only real danger that crawled in here. Somehow managed to get past the traps this far in. Uh, further down. Let's see what we can do with that. That we do. Um... Uh, yes, that's what I thought I would see. Crippled head and blown off head now. Oh, come the fuck on, let me... Where's the... Uh, where's... There it is, okay. okay. Let me aim for the fucking head. Damn it. Okay, fuck it. Body shot's good enough. There we go. That does it. And a bunch of spore plants. They're all on the top level, it looks like. So I'll be dealing with them. Oh shit. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck you. There we go. Reload real quick so I have enough ammo for this guy. That didn't really help me that much. Alright. I have seen many strange plants in the Alright. That worked. And the cat scratching at my door. Is a Shush. Okay. <sighs> Cat's being a dink. Okay, anyway. Uh, what I think I'll do is head back up and go that way around. Because I think that's the proper way through. And I guess that is in place of the traps that we saw earlier. Uh, and most of the other ones. Is that the door I came out of? I think it is. Okay. So we'll go this way. Or not. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That was close. I could have set that tripwire off and then be shot in the face. Dear, oh dear, oh dear me. Okay, so again, I'm going to be popping a uh, healing poultice. Jeez, I'm popping these like candy at this point. Fuck. Um, I have a locksmith, right? Yeah, I have a locksmith's reader. I'm good. Come on, let me... Foggy duty! Is it here? It's a little closer to the top. There we go. Didn't want to be turned back by a door. There we go. This is it. Hey! Level up! Okay. <clears throat> what I think I'll do is put some more into lockpick so I don't have to deal with that again. Uh, probably more five. Okay. That'll be good. And then... I'll dump some more into guns. I think that'll be good. Yeah, that's good. We're all good now. All fine. We're all fine. How many do I need? Uh, I need some other stuff. But I need scrap metal more than anything because I left all of that back at, you know, the regular house. Ooh, I'll take this, this, that, that. Well, uh, this was an ordeal. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, I'll take that, that, that that. hey, Beans. Let's see. Can I... Yeah, I can already repair my stuff. But this I can... I don't know. Hey, you want some new armor? I'll give you... Whoops. I will That's do my it. best to stay close. There if we something go. of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. Well, yeah, I would. Uh, take that. There you go. Whoa. You look much different. <laughs> More 
more like a merc. Okay, we'll read this real quick and then I'll end the episode. January 13th. The coffers are gone, finally. All 34 that still lived ate their dead for strength and struck out southeast. Victory. Ten months of killing. All I feel is cold. They deserved every goddamn bit of it. January 17th. Thought I was dreaming, but the screams were real. For a moment, thought they tricked me. Just pretended to leave Zion, then sent a patrol to track me down. The screams were a woman's. Edged around corner and passageway to have a look. One vaulter, ankle deep in bear trap. Leveled my SMG, but the way she was crying stopped me. How she screamed when she saw me. Been their boogeyman a long time. Name Sylvie. Claims they, she ran away from them. Calls them evil people. Children of the devil. Turns out they were sick after all. Something they caught in a vault they lived in. She never came down with it yet. So help me, I've wound up being her nurse. January 18th. Her story matches what I learned from my interrogations last year. But according to her, let's just say it was bad to be a woman in that group. So when they left, she slipped away. She knows next to nothing about living outside a vault. Says she wants to learn. September 9th. Never been so scared in my life. Canada wasn't scary, just sickening. The criminality of it. The end of the world wasn't scary. When I knew you and Alex were dead, I didn't have anything left to be scared about. I just went on for some reason. I wasn't scared fighting the vaulters. It was like I kept daring them to finish me. When I killed them, I think it was the closest I came to feeling happy in years. Sylvie is pregnant. And I am terrified. Ridiculous old man. A father again at 47. In this world? She's so excited and so trusting. Says it's God's will that we have this child. Like nothing can go wrong. You see, Cher, she doesn't know about you and Alex. Never told her. Almost did sometimes, but what you and I had, it seemed wrong to share it. More like an old man not wanting his young wife to know how he failed the one who'd come before her. Hiking into Tokerville for medical books and supplies. This will be done right. I'm sorry, Cher. Hope you can forgive me. March 5th. Baby was breech. Would have been a son. Michael. Did my best to turn him. Failed. Must have... Must have done cesarean too late. Had to put Sylvie out and she never woke up. Buried them south of the Narrows. Well, this time I was by their side. So much better. I think I can finally do it. Blow my fucking brains out all over this goddamn cave. Uh, yeah. Speaking of family... Well, someone's setting off traps over there. Anyway, we'll end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we enjoy playing together. And, you know, situations like Randall Clark has put into... And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.